Massive game out on the West Coast as Washington, which made its way into the committee's top 25, right there at number 25, will be taking on Oregon. Now, Oregon, according to not only the rankings themselves, but even some of the comments from the uh, committee chair, Boo Corrigan, afterwards in the teleconference, this committee seems to like this Ducks team a lot. And even though they got absolutely pasted by Georgia in the first game of the season, that, that seems to be something that the committee is having an okay time getting over, especially the way that Oregon has been playing and the way that Oregon has been winning since then. So wh what do we know about this Washington team? Now, when, when they're not playing in torrential wins, the pass attack is going to be something that they're going to lean on a little bit. This is going to be Michael Penix trying to take advantage of the back half of Oregon's defense. But we also have... Bo Nix, as he just continues to be on a tear. Did you know that Bo Nix has more rushing touchdowns than B. John Robinson right now? Yes. 13 rushing touchdowns, tied for fifth in the country among all players. Two more than B. John. Uh, he is also 14th in the country in passing touchdowns. Is As Bo Nix takes on this Washington team, which I think, you know, but do you think the Washington's defense has what it takes to go in and slow Bo Nix in this Oregon offense? No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, neither of these teams are good defensively overall. Oregon can at least stop the run. Like, they're not great at it, but they're decent against the run. They're awful stopping the pass. Washington's terrible against everything. Like, you, if you want to run the ball all over Washington, you can run the ball over Washington. Which is weird. Wanna, yeah. If you want to throw all over Washington, you can throw all over Washington. And that is the one thing going into this game. It's like, good offenses – bad defenses but at least Oregon can do something defensively but on the other side Washington doesn't really try to run the ball anyway like it's just mostly Michael Penix dropping back and running around and then firing a laser somewhere and hopefully he hits a target I I could see Washington maybe giving them a game I'm, I'm not necessarily predicting that but if they do and Tom's right their defense is bad against both run and pass it is a little bit better or a little bit not quite as bad against the run and if Oregon has a weakness offensively, and there aren't many, I do think it's it's obvious passing down situations. I don't really trust Bo Nix and these receivers in obvious passing downs. And Washington does have a good pass rush. One of the problems I have, though, is that Irving, the not the top corner, but the guy with the best numbers for them at corner so far this year, as far as like you know opposing QBR and stuff, he's done for the year. So Washington's secondary was already pretty sketch, as we saw <laughs> against UCLA, and now they have to go play Oregon at Oregon, that's that's pretty tough. I, I mean, what, what are the best passing attacks that, that Oregon's faced so far this year? I, I do think that secondary is sketch. It's UCLA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which didn't a, finish, right? We it, always in a we down back to it. Right. Yeah. And Stetson Bennett. And <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that I mean, Thank you. That's where I think that's where I think Washington can keep this game competitive. Is I do think Michael Penix should be comeback player of the year, whatever you want, whatever award you want to give him. I do think offensively they'll make this a game. You guys see the total? It's up in the 70s. Yeah, so I mean, it's. I think it'll be a higher scoring game. I think UCLA might be at 72. UNC Wake's at 77. I mean, there's some disgusting numbers on the board for this to be November. I'm putting all these 70s on the board. See, the, the oh. thing when I look at this matchup is, like, you, Bud, you mentioned it. Like, you, can you trust Bo Nix not to make a mistake? And obviously I think Bo Nix needs to have a few turnovers for Washington to win this game. The problem is, can you trust Michael Penix not to make a mistake? No, so I feel so. It's like, I just, when I look at this, it's, I think Oregon's the better overall team. I, I, I don't trust them defensively, which is why if they get to the playoff, I cannot imagine this team beating anybody they'll face there. But I think they're, you know, if you look around the rest of the Pac-12, it's not like there's a lot of stalwart defenses that are in the conference that they need to kind of worry up as far as matchups are concerned. So I just, I think Oregon probably runs through this one. I don't think Washington's that good. It's interesting in the Pac-12 this year. A lot of times the Pac-12, there's this narrative, which I don't think is supported by like draft picks and facts that the Pac-12 doesn't play defense. This year, the best Pac-12 teams definitely have some problematic defenses. Like Utah's mm -hmm. is nowhere near as good as it usually is. Mm -hmm. USC's is not good. And without a couple of guys they have out right now, it's kind of dreadful. Uh, Oregon's, hell, go back to the summer school series we did, right? Uh, the, the guys at Ducks 24-7 told us if this team has a weakness, it's the secondary. It's very sketch. Michael Penix uh, hoping to help keep Washington 
inside the committee's top 25 and uh, in hand Oregon, their first conference loss. A reminder, Oregon, the only team in the Pac-12 with zero conference losses, currently sitting at 6-0, and USC at 6-1, and UCLA at 5-1, and Utah at 5-1, and Washington at 4-2. and Very much an outside shot, but a win against the Ducks would go a long way.